Step 9. Format the chart area by applying a gradient fill. So I'm going to click in my chart area and I'm going to come over here to format chart area and I'm going to go to gradient fill. Use the preset gradients light gradient accent four. So here's my preset gradient light one, two, three, four. So it's kind of a yellowish color. Format the border of the chart area. So we can come up here and format and do the outline. So I think I would have called it outline by using a gold accent four. Probably that one. And do that with a width of 0.5. So you go back to shape outline and you come to width and 0.5. See how we have four and a half. <laughs> but we can come over here and change it to five. And you can kind of see how you got that nice little trim there. And that's the end of step nine. And now it says display the page setup dialog box and then for the chart sheet insert a custom footer. So we right now are on the annual expenses chart. Insert a custom footer. So I'm going to close this. <coughs> I'm going to go to the page layout. And um, in page layout I go to margins. And then we come down to custom margins and when we click that we get the page setup dialog box. I'm going to go into header footer tab and in the header footer you want to pick a custom footer because that will divide it up into three sections and it's asking you to work with this left section. So we click custom footer. And we click our mouse over in the left section and then it says ask for the file name. Now this one's kind of confusing because right now it looks like a file icon but if you go one more over that's going to insert the file name that you made um, for your name when you went file save as. Mine says one video and we're going to use that and that's all it asks for so I'm going to say OK and we can go ahead and print preview and you can see it's going to say one video just like is up in my title bar. All right. And I'm going to say OK. And that's the end of step 10. Step 11. Display the expenses worksheet. OK. We're on the chart sheet. So we want to move to this yellow tab and click that. And now we're back in an Excel worksheet. And um, probably going to remove those colors we had there for our bucket colors. All right, and we'll move them, remove them here too. Display the expenses worksheet and then using the quarter names and the totals by quarter. So here's our quarter names right here. Quarter names. and totals by quarter. Insert a line with marker chart in the worksheet. So I'm going to come over here to the home panel to the font dialog box and here we can draw all sorts of borders. I believe it wants us to draw this border and be able to draw a border here and draw a border here okay and now it's saying move the chart so the upper left corner is positioned slightly inside the upper left corner of A12 so we're gonna highlight A1 to G10 I'm gonna go control X and then I'm going to click here in A12 and go control V and it moves the entire chart down to cell A12. 
drag the center right sizing handle so that the chart extension extends to slightly inside the right border of column G. So I'm going to kind of grab this and there we go inside here. Now it's asking us to change the title to City of Pacific Bay Annual Expenses Summary. So I'm going to come down here and just change this title to Annual Expenses and Summary, which I think seems right. And one more dumbest step below. 